wish you peace and health. We're going to work on the eight brocade exercise. The Koreans call this the Mupal Dan Kung, Chinese the Baduan Jin. We'll do the Chinese version, eight exercises, follow along. I'll talk a little as we move through it. If you want to watch the first of each, I'll show you very tersely what to, to focus on. Feet separate to hip width, raise the heavens, simple, lace your fingers, breathe your hands up over your head, roll slightly forward on the front of the feet, drop the energy as the hands separate and drop onto the heels, come down to the center, gather again. So here we're going, raise the heavens, inhale up, expand and settle, exhale down. We'll do sets of four, so that would be the first. In through the nose, out through the nose, if your body allows that kind of uh, breathing this morning. Tip of the tongue against the roof of the mouth helps connect the energy line from the crown of the head coming down to the front of the body. Cleansing breath, open and close. A wider stance for the archer. A lot of variations, but we're gonna simply reach across. Draw the bow back. Two fingers pinned, two fingers pointing. Look to the distance, release the energy. Alternating sides. Two sets, inhale, see to the distance, exhale, hands come back, settle down and rise up, inhale, draw the bow. Let the energy go, let your vision carry the energy way to the distance. One more time with each side. Nice soft release, back to center, gather a little more energy from the earth, aim far into the distance, let the energy fly, let your spirit soar away. Simple breath. Heaven and earth, one palm rises, the other presses down. Body stays centered, palm can come to the side a little, top hand centered over the head, extending the arms long if that feels appropriate, or just rounding and soft under the shoulders and elbows. So alternating sides, inhale, the hands expand, reaching for heaven and earth. Exhale, the hands exchange energy, and then alternate sides, inhaling the expansion. Exhaling back to center. One more time on each side. Heaven and earth. What I often do with my training videos is if I find one that resonates, I'll pause and get multiple repetitions in. Simple breath. Wise owl gazes back requires an inhale and then turning as the palms open slightly, turning from the neck and the shoulders and the waist and then returning as we inhale back to the center. So twice on each side, start with a full breath. Exhale and turn the head and the shoulders and the waist. Inhale back to center. 
Take a minute to gaze around at your surroundings. The eyes are a strong sense that can gather a lot of energy. Lungs are full, so you can exhale as you turn. Inhale back to center. Last one. Let the energy settle, take a simple breath. Sway the head and shake the tail. Now we're gonna inhale as we look up over one shoulder and exhale as we drop down. So inhale up one side, lengthen the opposite leg, shift the weight to the direction you just moved, exhale down through the center, again getting centered and then inhale to the other side, weight on that leg, other leg lengthening. I prefer thumbs out I think we're going to have to do an extra one on this one. Exhale, inhale, one more time on each side. Massage the knees. Feet return, resting breath. Reach and grab the toes. Move with me, inhale, lift the heart up to the heavens. Exhale, reaching down to the feet as much. If you get to your knees, that's great. If you can get all the way down, get your fingers under your toes. And Lift your spine and then rise up. That's a good feeling, but do what feels best for you. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale as you rise. Bring the earth energy up and open your heart up to the heavens. Exhale down. Lift your kidneys up to the heavens as you get down low and then rise up and we'll rest. So inhale, settle. One more resting breath. Widen your stance to punch and gaze fiercely. Draw the fist by your sides. We put a little flourish on the end of this. Exhale as you punch out, grab some of the chi out in the world, bring it back to your side. Exhale the punch out, inhale as you gather, twirling the wrist is a good stimulant for all the energy moving through the hand up and down the arm. Settle. Bring your feet back slowly together. And then bouncing lightly on your toes to ward off illness, to keep the energy vibrant. And finish with a nice little. If there's nobody underneath you that you're going to wake up, you can let the heels drop with a good thunk to really settle back into that heavy earth energy. One more time, here we go. Take a breath. I wish you peace and health.